You know, I think what a lot of people don't understand is that whenever you talk to another person, right, and, and you're going to try to work with them, right, they're going to try to work in your business or they're going to try to purchase services from you or whatever the case may be, I, I think people don't understand that if someone's going to give you money that – they, they, they sort of see the value in what you have to offer. That if they give you the money, that they would rather have whatever you have to offer than the money, right? So that moment, that very moment when somebody decides to give you uh, the payment, that decides to purchase, decides to work with you, decides to pay, at that point in time, they're saying, yes, this is valuable. So, you know, I talk to people all the time. I talk to a guy today where he just has all this sort of anxiety around asking for the price, like he, he literally can go in, people come into his office, you know, and he sits down with them for 45 minutes, totally comfortable, da, 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 and, but it just gets to that point, and every single time in his head, he wants to just avoid even asking for it. Like a lot of times he won't even ask for the price, but then other times he'll, he'll, he'll maybe go really low, right? He'll go really low. So let's say he needs to charge $2,000, you know, for the person to work with him and he charges 400, right? Just because he wants to get the client because he doesn't want to overcharge them. And, you know, it's this little tiny mental tick. But what you have to understand is that if people pay to work with you, they're happy with it. It doesn't matter if you charge them $400, $2,000, $5,000. If they pay it in that moment, they're, they're not just saying. They're actually acting in a way that means, yes, this is valuable. This is what it is. But you got to give them the chance. And I think a lot of people misunderstand that, you know, when they, when they first get started or when they've never really sort of understood what it means to, to make a sale, they just think, oh, it's about me just getting the money. Oh, I'm going to get the money. I got to get the money, right? And it's all about you trying to get money from your friends or family or whatever the case may be. But you got to look at it differently. I mean, you got to realize that if you're offering something that's valuable, right, whether you're helping people save time, you're helping people, uh, you know, save money, you're helping people increase their income, grow their business, you're helping them save money on taxes, whatever it is that you're doing. If people aren't working with you, right, they're not working with you, they're worse off than if they were working with you. So for example, this guy I was talking to today, he helps people save money on taxes. And he's thinking, oh, I don't know if I can go to these people and ask them for money. I'm like, dude, how long have you known these people? He's like, oh, three years. Well, if you would have asked them three years ago, how, you know, they would have saved, you told me you could have saved them $7,000. They lost $21,000 because you're too scared to go over there and tell them you could help them save $21,000. And so, you know, if you really care about these people, you owe it to them to get out there, get in front of them, get them to commit to working with you, get them to take the next step. If you believe that what you have to offer is valuable, then you owe it to these people. It's your obligation to go out there and start asking them to work with you. Don't keep it all cooped up inside. I mean, get out there and push it. And the more you believe in it, the harder you're going to push it. And so it's not about you making money. It's about you fundamentally helping the person. And people say, oh, but I can't take that much money off somebody. Look, if somebody pays it, they're happy to pay. They're happy to pay. I can't tell you how many people I know. I mean, I've got people that now, because we've got a business that's of a certain size, where there's people we pay thousands and thousands of dollars a month. We don't even talk to them. I haven't even talked to them in months. I had this one guy who's paying him $4,000 a month. I didn't talk to him for like six months. He was just doing his thing, doing his thing. And I was happy to do it, right? So my point is that, you know, value is totally different, right? The value of a $2,000 payment like this guy was talking about for somebody that makes $40,000 a year and has a job is completely different than a $2,000 payment for a business owner that does, you know, 2 million a year in sales on their restaurant, right? Or whatever the case may be, right? So don't mistake your own perception of price and think that you need to go and take from 2,000 to 400 because, oh, that's too much. Just make it higher, make it higher, make it higher, make it higher. And when you got it high enough to where someone's like, that is ridiculous. I can't believe that you would even ask for that. Then you know, you just got to come right below that, right? Right below that. Because prices, there's no real price. Prices are just, they're all over the place. They're, they're different for different people. They're different for different services. They're different for different times. And so you just have to test it, always test it up. And if you fully believe that what you have is valuable to offer, you got to get out there and, and, and get people to buy it. Don't sit around and, and, and hemorrhage on the price and, and, and be for afraid to reach out to friends and family um, because every moment that you wait, these people are out there bleeding, these people are out there hurting. You owe it to them to get out there and get them to work with you.